Hello, these are the video instructions for the free fall worksheet that you're going to be assigned today. These instructions are mostly for people who may be having a difficult time getting started. And so if you're able to do the problems independently, then you may not need to watch this video. So let's take a look at the first question. So the first question says, if a rock is dropped from rest, how fast will it be going after, and then it gives certain time intervals. So let's go ahead and let's just plug in some numbers. So in this first one, we're solving for V, I know, that will equal to our initial velocity, which since it's starting from rest, the initial velocity is zero meters per second. Plus, and it actually in this case does not matter um, if you use positive 10 or if you use negative 10. Um, and that can be because you decided that you're going to define down to be positive or you decided to define down to be negative. Um, whatever the case, you can use either. Um, I'm going to stick with our convention of using negative. And so negative 10 meters per second squared multiplied by one second. Okay. Now, just doing the math in our head, um, the zero doesn't count for anything. And you're going to have negative 10 uh, meters per second is your answer. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And you can probably delete a few of these little lines. Okay. Let's do a more complicated example. Um, so a rock is dropped from rest. Let's do number two. Um, how far will it fall after a certain amount of time? Okay, so let's do for two seconds then. So we'll say d is equal to, uh, same thing as before. Um, this, and actually I'm thinking my font might be a little too big. It starts from rest again, so zero meters per second, multiplied by two seconds as the time, plus one half. We'll stick with negative. Um, and then we'll do time. Okay. That works itself out too. Um, the first term, zero times anything cancels. So it's just going to be um, one half times negative 10, which comes out to negative five meters per second squared, and then multiplied by um, two squared, so that'll be four, and means now our second squared. You'll notice that it's second squared divided by second squared, um, so the units are just meters. So we'll just say distance, or displacement, sorry, is equal to negative 20 meters. Okay, and so we did two seconds, so we can go ahead and put negative 20 meters. All right, and I'm just going to do um, a couple more examples. I'll do two more examples. I want to do number three, because um, I know people traditionally have difficulty with number three. Um, so same process, we'll just say D equals, or actually, sorry, they're asking us to solve for v final. So v final is equal to the initial. So in this case, they give us plus 20 uh, plus. Now, here's your dilemma. Um, and I did this on purpose. Um, you can either use positive or you can use negative. But I want you to stay consistent. So I'm going to stick with using negative. 
um, and then time is four seconds. That means if you're going to use negative 10 here for the next question, when the initial speed is negative 20, I want you to still use um, negative 10. So the oops, final is equal to, um, let's see, negative 10 times 4 is going to equal to negative 40. Negative 40 plus 20 is going to equal to negative 20 meters per second. And you can go ahead and you can maybe highlight your answers to um, you know, demonstrate that you did it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Same thing for number four. And honestly, let's do number five. Last example. And I think you guys should be good to work by yourself. So an arrow is shot straight up into the air. What is the speed of the air at its maximum height? Oh, wait, that's not the one I want to do. I want to do, here we go, number six. I want to do number six. So an arrow is shot straight up into the air at 50 meters per second. How long does it take to reach its maximum height? Okay, so this kind of plays into the previous question um, for number five. Um, hopefully, you're able to determine that at the maximum height, and I'll write this down. Right, the oops, is equal to zero meters per second, right? Um, and so, using that information, we can say, okay, so v final is equal to v initial plus g t. Um, if you're launching it straight up, right, that means the, the final height is going to be at the, or sorry, the final velocity is going to be at the maximum height. So we'll put zero meters per second is equal to. Now our initial was 50 meters per second straight up. I'm going to go ahead and define up to be positive. means that the acceleration is going to be pointed towards Earth. So I'm going to use 10 meters per second squared, and then we're solving for time. Okay. Um, go ahead and subtract 50 to the other side. Okay. And then go ahead and divide 10 to the other side. 5 divided by 10 is 5, and then we can drop the negative. So 5 seconds equal to t. All right. And you can go ahead and just edit the document as you're working. All right, so that's it for the examples. Um, you guys should continue working at your own pace and do call me over to your breakout room um, if you guys have any questions.